William Street. The red globe of light, the liquor green, the pulsing arrows, and the running fire spilt on the stones go deeper than a stream. You find this ugly? I find it lovely. Ghost trousers, like the dangle of hung men in pawn shop windows, bumping knee by knee, but none inside to suffer or condemn. You find this ugly? I find it lovely. Smells rich and rasping, smoke and fat and fish, and puffs of paraffin that crimp the nose, of grease that blesses onions with a hiss. You find it ugly? I find it lovely. The dips and moles, with flip and shiny gaze, death at their elbows, hunger at their heels, ranging the pavements of their pasturage. You find this ugly? I find it lovely. Celeste found it lovely. I found it ugly. When I first came to Sydney as a card-carrying adult, I made that pilgrimage. I thought of this street often since receiving a postcard from my teacher at the New South Wales Correspondence School. His name was Mr George. He was nice to me, always friendly and encouraging in the handwritten comments on my homework. Back then I was a lonely missionary kid living in Fiji and encouragement was sometimes hard to come by. Mr George was fun, didn't take things too seriously. Was quick to extend my interests when he detected them in the schoolwork we posted back to Sydney each fortnight. I guess I must have asked him what the actual school was like. So he sent me a postcard of William Street, looking east towards King's Cross. In the middle distance was a squat mid-rise building circled in ballpoint pen, which housed the offices of the New South Wales Correspondence School. Perhaps this building was beautiful once, at least in the mind of its designer, but now even the most nostalgic of poets might have struggled to find any beauty in it faded as it was by a couple of decades of harsh Sydney afternoon light. And farther away in that photo, at the top of the hill and in the natural vanishing point of the lanes, was the sign. Red and white, shimmering and glimmering, even in a still photograph. A beacon, I suppose. But I digress. When my family returned to Australia on furlough, I convinced my parents to take me to meet Mr George. I'm sure they tried to talk me out of it. There had to be a good reason why someone would choose to teach via airmail rather than face to face. But I wasn't to be deterred, which is why the entire family made their way to William Street, to the mid-rise building with the faded facade. I remember the foyer and the receptionist. She seemed surprised to see real, actual children. We wanted to meet who? A teacher? Which teacher? Mr George, really? All right then, third floor, I'll let him know you're here. Up close, Mr George was very different from what I'd imagined. I'd imagined someone tall, dashing, handsome. An outstretched hand, a warm smile. James, how good to see you. Is this your family? Certainly not this, a small hunchbacked man with the contorted face and the paralyzing stammer. We stood there, an awkward half moon of embarrassment facing a teacher blushing hard with the humiliation of being caught out. 
We exchanged small talk for the minimum possible time. I thanked him for being my teacher and we left, heading straight back to our temporary accommodation. And that was William Street. At 19, I completed my pilgrimage. Somehow I already knew that the Coca-Cola sign was, is, something of an institution. I don't recall how I was even aware of it before I received that postcard, but for some reason when I saw the sign in that shot, I knew that it was a landmark. A proper Sydney landmark, right up there with the bridge and the opera house and the brand new Centrepoint Tower. Was it a landmark? Of course. It was like the gate to a world I'd learned to fear, the world of King's Cross. As far as I knew, the cross was Sodom, Gomorrah, Vegas, Dvalin and Piccadilly combined. But with a dirty early 80s cringe to it. It was like the gate to hell. Thus, in the way of most adolescents entering the adult world, it formed the focus of my pilgrimage. I came to Sydney straight out of high school, found a warm place in the corner with the other Seventh Day Adventists, and quietly planned a visit to the sign at the earliest opportunity. The sign? Yes, and the cross too, but mostly the Coca Cola sign. It was time to complete this journey. I remember walking there from Town Hall Station, heading east along Park Street and through Hyde Park. It was close to dark and as I reached Cottage Street where Park becomes William, I saw the sign just beginning to glimmer in the far distance. I drew in a deep breath and set out past the pubs and my old school where Mr George might still have worked, past the awnings and entrance ways where the dips and moles were lighting their smokes and scanning the traffic with their shiny gaze. past those pawn shop windows and the rich rasping hissing onions on hot dog trolleys. Past the pulsing arrows and up the hill towards the gate to hell. Towards the sign. I reached the top of the hill where the William Street off ramp now meets Darlinghurst Road and there across three lanes of stop traffic was my landmark. My destination, an embodiment, a symbol of my newfound adulthood. Up close it wasn't special. Up close it was nothing but an array of white and red globes, some faded, some failed, some broken off in their sockets, a contorted, paralysed face. No warmth, just a leering grin. I turned then and headed back to my warm corner. Mr. Slessor, you might have found this street lovely. But up close, I found it ugly. <laughs>